Hi, this is John Dreyer for Fender University. Let's walk through the process of removing a bad output jack on your guitar or bass and replacing it with a new one. Over time, from extended use, the jack might become intermittent or just stop working altogether. The methods I'm going to show you today for Strat, Tele, P-Bass, and Jazz Bass all share the same process of removing and reattaching the wires to the lugs of the output jack. The only thing that changes is how you access each jack. The tools we'll need today, a nut driver or a wrench, a screwdriver, a soldering iron, and the new output jack. Now, if you're not experienced working with a soldering iron, we recommend having someone more experienced assist you. And remember, please take all safety precautions when working with a hot soldering iron. A strat is the easiest. Let's start here. Simply unscrew the entire jack from the body. Then we want to loosen the nut around the jack. Then remove the jack from the jack plate. For this process, I'm going to use this handy soldering tool. This will hold the jack for me while I'm soldering and unsoldering and will prevent me from burning my fingers. So I've already gone ahead and cleaned the soldering iron. You want to make sure you have a clean tip on the iron. I'm going to go ahead and unsolder both wires from the jack. Be sure to make note of which wire goes where. White is normally hot, which goes to the tip lug, and black is ground, which goes to the sleeve lug. So now I'm going to remove the old jack. Put that aside, go ahead and take my new jack and the two lugs on which I'll attach the white and black wires are here, this one and this one. This is the sleeve where the black wire goes and which is the ground. And this one is the white which is attached to the tip. Okay, I'm going to attach this new jack to the clip here so it'll hold it in place and then I'll go ahead and reattach the wires. I'm going to put the soldering iron to the lug here, get it hot and apply some of the solder. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and reattach the black wire to the sleeve. There's a little bit of solder on the wire here. I'm going to go ahead and heat up the lug and put that wire through. Hold it in place. Good to go there. Okay, now I'll attach the white wire to the tip lug. Again, I'm going to heat up the, the lug here and insert the wire. Make sure I have a good contact, hold it in place, and that is now secure. Now I'm ready to remove the jack from the clip, and I'll move this aside. So before we put the jack through the plate, I want to make sure I have the washer on the underside. Then I can slide it through the hole in the jack plate. Get the nut on there and tighten that up. And we can take the nut driver and just tighten that down, make sure it's tight, but you don't want to over tighten it. Okay, then I want to feed the wires back down into the cavity, and then the jack plate goes into place, and then we can screw that down. And that's how you do it. For the jazz base, you'll just need to remove the control plate to gain access to the jack. Let's remove the three screws on the plate. If you have a wrench or a nut driver, I'll lift the plate here. You can see the jack underneath and attached to the plate. I'm going to hold on to the jack and then loosen. Okay. And just make sure you don't lose the washers that are probably on top and the bottom. Take those off and put them aside. So then we can go ahead and unsolder the black and white wires and then reattach them to the new jack. The P-Base will require you to remove the entire pickguard to gain access to the jack. Okay, I'll remove this last screw holding the pickguard down. On this particular American Vintage P-Base, there's actually a metal shield under the pickguard which makes contact with the output jack and this acts as a ground for the jack. So that's why you only see the white hot wire that's attached to the tip lug. Now if this didn't have the metal shield, you'd see a black wire going to ground as well. Okay, now we can go ahead and remove the nut off the jack. Grab your washers, put those aside, and we can unsolder the old jack and resolder the new one. For a Telecaster, you can get access to the jack on the inside of the control cavity. First, I need to flip the guitar on its side and loosen the nut on the bottom of the guitar. I'm going to go ahead and loosen the nut. 
all the way until it's free. And this round jack plate will probably also come loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that now, and then the nut will come up with it. And I'll put that aside. Now lay the guitar back down and remove the control plate. I want to remove these two screws holding the control plate down. And once I have this open, I can then go ahead and pull out the jack here. So now I can go ahead and unsolder these two wires and install the new jack, replace again the black ground wire and the white hot wire to the new jack. To reinstall the jack, I first want to go ahead and reinsert it into the hole in the cavity here and I'm going to push that through and then I'm going to flip the guitar back on its side. Okay, so I'm applying pressure on the inside and pushing the jack up through the hole here on the end and I'm using my screwdriver to guide it the rest of the way. And I want to make sure that jack plate is on there. And again, seat it well. And then I'm going to put the nut back on here. Use my thumb to start it. And I can use my wrench to tighten it the rest of the way. And there we go. Now I can lay the guitar back down and finish it up. Get the wires back into the cavity. Make sure you're not crimping any of the wires. And then we can screw the cavity plate back into the guitar. And that's the way to change your output jack on your guitar or bass. For more information, please visit Fender.com forward slash university.